This is the chemical reaction 3 lab. The purpose of this lab is to identify the metal by doing the flame test and precipitation reaction and to identify the halide by the common halide test. For the lab, we have 10 different known metal halide solution and one unknown metal halide solution. Out of these 10 solutions, the first three are group 1 alkali metals, the second three are group 2 alkaline earth metals, the last four are the transition metals. First, we will do the testing of the metal and halide with all the known and unknown solutions. And then, with the help of the result of the known metal halide solution, we can identify the metal and halide in an unknown solution. Now, I'm going to start the flame test. I already have the 10 drops of each solution in all these 10 test tubes. And these all test tubes are in a sequence as in the manual. The first one is lithium and the last one is zinc. Now, this is the flame test wire with the loop. We should have to make sure the flame test wire should be clean before starting the experiment or before recording the color of the metal. Right now it looks like, you know, this is not clean. That's why what I have to do, I have to dip into the nitric acid solution. This one is the nitric acid. First, the, the flame test wire is clean. Then I'm going to dip this one into the first metal halide solution. The first solution is the lithium chloride. This is the known metal halide solution. Then we have to record the color of the flame. This is red. I'm going to do this again. This is the first one, lithium chloride. This is the red solution. This is for lithium. Then I'm going to wash the flame test wire again. Then I'm going to dip this one into the second solution, which is sodium chloride, sodium gives you the yellowish orange flame. This is the way how we record the flame color of the metal solutions.